Should so we play pirates? Yeah. No, let's play something in between pirates. Oh, well. What about other new ones? Other new ones? You know that. My right. favorite song. You know. Which song? Great Situation Part 1. You got it. Oh, yeah. We haven't played this in a little while, but it's only four chords, so how hard can it be? Here we go. Frilius. Oh, can you hit my tune? This is a song about zombies and love. The best kind of song. The best kind. Well, zombies and love and revenge, actually. Um, we're called The Burning Hell. We're from Canada. This song goes like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Well, here's a little story about the woman that I knew. It's no allegory, I guarantee it's all quite true, so I expect you to believe me. Though you won't believe your ears, pay attention, listen up, though you may tremble with fear. You see, this woman that I spoke of, she had a quarrel with her lover. It seems she had discovered he'd been sleeping with another. And it was on this very spot in June 1987. They fought and then he shot her and she died and went to heaven. Or at least that's what the priest said as he read the funeral rites. But something strange was going on amongst the tombstones that night. Just when everybody thought her immortal soul was safe, we were all quite surprised to learn she had risen from the grave. She said, hello, I'm back I'll be back in my casket before the night is through But first I'll pay a visit to a certain so now I'll see my cheating husband and send him straight to hell Now we were speechless as she left us To find the food she married So someone said she's looking good for a girl who's just been married But you know we ought to stop her Should we call the police? I said, she's the living dead They can do as they please Besides, she was heading right to the station house herself Where her husband was awaiting trial In a holding cell The sergeant was surprised to see a corpse walk through the door But he said Sorry, ma'am. Visiting hours are two to four. She laughed and said, I'm dead. I don't have all day. So if you kindly stand aside and show me the way. The sergeant said, oh, all right, then. He's in cell number six. Besides, he thought, I really don't get paid enough for this. And he was sleeping on his pot, which came into the cell. And ever since the murder, he had slept really well. When he opened up his eyes, at first he thought it was a dream. But she began to speak before he had a chance to scream. Oh, no, 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 no. I got some business to do. I'll be back. Now some say it was a heart attack, some say it was a stroke. Some people say the whole thing was invented just as a joke. But I tell you it's a fact, it all happened right here when he saw his undead wife. He simply died of fear, she said, hello, I'm back, I got some business to do. I'll be back in my casket before the night is through. But first I'll pay a visit to a certain place so I'll see my cheating husband and send him straight to hell. Thanks.